Oh, why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? Hey everyone, welcome back to the Never Games YouTube channel. My name is Ralph. This is Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness, a game that just released. We're gonna do three episodes and a let's try. I created a Rillo Highlander and I am. <laughs> At first, when I saw the statue, I thought it was peeing. Now, in my defense, I'm from Belgium. In Belgium, we actually have a very famous statue that is peeing, okay? So that's why I thought, hey, they put this in the game, but, you know, they didn't, obviously. In any case, uh, we have Beline here, who um, is fetching us for something. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ugh, you do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting? You are simply the laziest... Never mind. Are you calling me lazy, Beline? The lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Out of my way! I have received a quest to inspect objectives or my progress during the quest. Click on the operations button. Let's do that real quickly. So we have a main quest, side quest, which we haven't received yet. And there is the journal. There's not much in there yet because <laughs> I, only, I only took two steps. It would have surprised me if I already had a journal entry about uh, every step I take. There is a companion where we do have a number of people. Oh, hey, look at that. There is a backstory. I'm an orphan, my mother having died when I was but a small child and my father's identity unknown. Well, if there is a um, super typical character background in an RPG, it is the orphan one. And hey, we are one. After my mother's passing, Lord Espen graciously accepted me as a member of his estate in the hinterlands of the kingdom. Years before I could be useful as a servant. When I was old enough, I was set to stripping sheets from beds, clearing tables after meals and other simple tasks. Later I would be trusted with more responsibility, seeing to the needs of our guests, delivering messages, etc. Though I used to complain of such things when I was younger, I see now that I've had an easy life here. Lord Espen has always been kind to me and more generous than a child should expect in this world. Once I showed some aptitude, he even provided schooling for me. This sort of boon is for a servant unheard of. We're typically expected to work for our keep and nothing else, at least until Adulthood. Now here is where I have, well, an issue is a big word, but this is a very generic background. So it does not take into account my race. It does not take into account the class of Highlander. Uh, so where on earth would I have, you know, learned my Highlander skills if I've been taken in here and if I was a servant since I was a child, I've been uh, doing like menial tasks. So I, I guess that pissed me off enough to learn how to rage. Uh, there is also a greed mechanic in this game. So from what I understand, the world is being influenced by a goddess of greed. And this takes effect during the game through the actions of the characters. So if you are a character like me, who is hoarding everything, this will have a negative effect on the game world. It could lead to uh, prices going up and all sorts of stuff. Uh, it could lead to encounters where if you're hoarding a lot of items, all of a sudden you get attacked by people who want your items. I think that is a really cool mechanic if they put something like this in the game where, you know, your greed is actually impacting different things in the world. That is that is very cool. Yes, yes. Make haste, make haste. Hey man. Like don't stress me out, okay? 
uh, there is a map and I was told to go to my room which seems to be right in the middle there this is the meeting room the parlor uh, so I am gonna run through out of my way to the back here <laughs> I'm screaming out of my way to uh, anyone not the widest of rooms that I've received in um, Lord Espen's estate here. But I have a chest and the chest has items. And there is a blunt weapon, my favorite. Uh, am I supposed to wear this stuff? Yeah, this is my serving Amazon. So I'm not going to show up there in full armor, but like I could. Uh, I am going to keep it somewhat civilized, <laughs> he said, while playing a uh, Berserker Highlander. In any case, yes, yes. Uh, this is the impact of uh, my years of uh, serving is... Oh, here is Hello. Baleen. At last. Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Wolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virilin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! Virilin and Espen mead and Joran ale. Okay, I'm gonna forget that in one second. Who was this? Espen... Hello. Espen was mead? You're here. Finally. Ah, good. There you go. That is somewhat correct. Lady Verlin. Ugh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. Oh, my poor Lady Verlin. How about I give you some meat? Just what I wanted for a change. Hey, are you not satisfied with my service here, or what, lady? Is this Yorin? Yorin wanted ale? Well? Well, I'm here to give you a drink, sir. You know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. No, of course you don't. It is standing in this room. Thus, it is at room temperature. Man. Hello. Yes, yes, get on with it. Well, get on with it. Drink I your wine then. you expect me to toss you a coin for doing your job. Yes, that would be uh, very accepted, actually. And here oh, is uh, the last one. Ah, oh, the staff. I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or something. Is that a, a comment on my race, Lord Walcroft? Huh? Do I look plague ridden to you because I have tusks and flappy ears? Is that what you're saying? You want me to start raging? <laughs> oh, or I, I, I could just give you your wine. <laughs> Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Deron Gould. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmerald. Ooh, that must sting all your lordly and lady asses. I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. I'd say. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimerald nobility, most recently Aldnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ooh, so this Aldnar would be a character that I would know since I've grown up here, and this is, um... This is the sun, so I probably served this uh, rebel now. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. 
and I'll thank you, Lady Virilin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy, some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the King's insistence that Daron Gould's military, e even the town watch, must be trained in the north. It's quite a list. I have to say the voice acting is really cool though. That is very well done. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed? Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> My, what exceptional nonsense! <laughs> <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? <laughs> oh, Lord Espen, so funny! All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isildbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war. A much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend, but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould. I think Lord Walcroft is also known as 007. Or... throw in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. You there. What is your opinion on recent developments? You're asking the errand boy? What does- Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenfall. Well, speak up. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> to be honest, I agree with Lady Larenthal. You're sitting here with a bunch of nobles and you're asking the person who just gave you your meat what my opinion is on the political situation of the country. I, um, I say, fa 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 fa. I uh, have little experience in political matters. For me, the wisest course is silence. Yes, a wise man must always be cognizant of his own ignorance. Thank you for reminding us all of that fact. Yeah, there you go. My pleasure. Uh, you want some more meat? We are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. Ah, finally, now, now I get to show what I'm made of. The servant boy turned berserker. Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. You are not the smartest biscuit, Lord Joran, sorry to say. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> right? Right. Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf if it's of any use. You? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. Where am I going? If you say so. 
Do you need something? You and you lot with me. But what is it, my lord? That sound. The main gate has already been breached. The house of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Terra Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, ready your weapon. With all the time you spent training under my master of arms, you must be able to defend yourself by now. Well, I think it's time to equip my shit. There we go. The Highlander has arisen. Oh, we can actually loot this place, huh? <laughs> uh, where did you run off to now? Oh. Huh? Hold the line! Thirsty work, this. You dumb guard, w will you try not to... Oh, what is this? We got a mage. We got a mage. Hit it. Hit it. Kill it with the mace. Oh man, really? Really? Oh, here we go. I killed one character. Yay. Get back here, you lout. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, they're ready for looting. Whoop, whoop. They're, oh, look at that. More. They call me uh, the Joker and the Hoarder and a whole bunch of other things. I'm going. They're not getting past us. Yeah, you can say that again. Man, they... Your Master of Arms uh, kind of sucks because I uh, was not able to hit anything. Okay, well, that one better. Oh, that was a good hit. Very nice. Very nice. There, I did something good. Uh, Guard this door with your life, ask her come with me. Sure. I, uh, I'll i be right with you, Lord Aspen, after I uh, cleaned out your castle here. Uh, where did you run off to now? Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Aspen was the love of my life. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. What are you talking about, dude? We're under attack. Can we talk about your dead wife some other time? We haven't time for your smart remarks. You never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember. But if you had, she... Gods damn these Derongold swine. Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. Alright. I, uh, I guess I will obey. Wait, what? Why are you closing the door on me? Ooh, I have the oh, they're killing the women? Found you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. Oh, here he is, the uh, the son, the son and heir and rebel. To be betrayed by my own son, who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see, things your priests and men-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective, seen the truth of this world. So. You were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house. Only pretty words. Kill me if you wish. But I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son. And the price of a sin such as this... Well... Uh, maybe you should try and just kill him. 
Enough of your piety. It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father. Well, so much for uh, Lord Espen, I guess. So now you want me to help you? Oh, it's already too late? Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. Get up, lazy boy. It's time to go to bed. Huh? What just happened? Is that... Was that a dream or what? That makes no sense. Where am I? What? Does this look like Rothgar's realm to you? You're in my hut. Yes. Why? Is the question. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. It would make sense if you could explain to me why I'm all of a sudden here, where I am. What happened to Lord Espen? And I, there is a whole bunch of questions actually. You can send your character to rest by clicking the rest button. Resting will replenish some of your character's health and restore spell and ability uses. Beware though, sleeping out in the wilds comes with the risk of attracting the beasts and rough faces of the area. Seeking out and sleeping at inns is a safer and more comfortable option. Oh, we're gonna discuss it tomorrow, I guess. All right. Uh, I cannot. Out of my way. Plants and concoctions of unknown origin are scattered all over this table. Oh, I can loot this place too. Great. What? Yes, yes. Don't mind me. I did say I was a hoarder. I was not kidding. I was not kidding. Uh, so there, oh, there is the rest button. Okay. So in that case, I am going to end the episode right here. If you're enjoying the game, hit that like button. There is a link in the description where you can pick it up for yourself. Leave a comment if you want to see more of this game. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode.